Hello everyone, welcome to Code Chef. Myself, Jwala Chaurasia, and today we are gonna solve a problem which came in Code Chef July cook-off. And the problem level is easy, and the problem name is XOR permutation. So let's start with reading the problem statement. So the problem over here says that Chef has received a challenge for which he needs your help. Given n, find a permutation p of number 1 to 2 n such that p of i XOR of P of I plus 1 is not equal to P of I plus 2 where I lies from 1 to N minus 2 where the symbol denotes bitwise XOR operation. If multiple such permutation exist, print any. If no such permutation exists, print minus 1. Note that a permutation of length N is a sequence of N integers P equal to P1, P2 till PN such that every integer from 1 to N appears or inclusive appears in it exactly once. For example, 25413 is a permutation of length 5 while 25213 is not because as you can see for length 5 all the numbers till 1 to 5 is included over here but for length 5 it is not included over here let's see the input format first line will contain t number of test cases then the test cases follows each test case contain of a single integer as input n the length of the required permutation output format for each test case output in a new line n space separated integers denoting a permutation satisfying the condition if multiple such permutation exist print any if no such permutation exists print minus one constraints for t it lies from 1 to 500 and for n it lies from 3 to 10 to the power 5 so that's why our n will be from 3 and sum of n overall test cases does not exceed 2 to 10 to the power 5 this is the sample input and output now let's check test over here okay so given input was like this for us uh, first of all it was given like this 4 3 5 10 and 22 and the question says our uh, question asks that that p of i you have to make a permutation of length n such that p of i XOR of P of I plus 1 should not be equal to P of I plus 2. So this is your basic condition and your XOR should satisfy this condition. Okay. So first let's check for this 3. Okay. So let's say you have got N as 3. Okay. And let's make permutation for N3. You can make permutation like this 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1 or 2, 1, 3. Okay. So now let's check whether this condition is satisfying or not this XOR condition is satisfying or not so basic condition for XOR is this uh, 1 XOR of 1 is equal to 0 1 XOR of 0 equal to 0 0 XOR uh, sorry 1 XOR of 0 equal to 1 okay 0 XOR of 0 equal to 0 and 0 XOR of 1 would be equal to 1 so this is general XOR's condition so this would be this okay so now over this page now let's check for 3 and permutation for 3 we were getting like this 1 2 3 3 2 1 and 2 1 3 so we have to print any of the permutation which is satisfying that condition and that condition was like this p of i xor of p of i plus 1 is not equal to p of i plus 2 so when i will do xor of this so let's say my p of i is this and p of i plus 1 is this okay so p of i is this so 0 0 1 is 1 and for 2 it would be 0 1 0 when I will do XOR of this, the XOR of this would be 1, 1, 0. So when I will see, I am getting 3. So therefore, P of I, XOR of P of I plus 1 is equal to P of I plus 2. So therefore, this condition is not satisfying for this permutation. So now let's check for this permutation 3 and 2. So P of I is this and P of I plus 1 is this. So 0, 1, 1 and for 2 it would be 0, 1, 0. So it would be 1, 0, 1. So 1, 0, okay. So 0, 0, 1 I am getting when I do XOR of this. So this would be this and I am getting this okay so zero. so this uh, again this condition is not satisfying because I am getting it equal to p of i plus 2 right so my answer would be not for this condition and when I will try to check for this condition itself so still it would be equal to 3 okay when I will two do 2 xor of 1 it would be equal to 3 so okay so for for n for length n equal to 3 my condition will never satisfy this condition won't never will never satisfy okay so what would be should be our solution for now let's check for uh, after 5 okay so after 5 uh, let's say i am checking till n okay 
so five so let's say i am getting five six seven eight nine ten okay so when i will try to do xor of these numbers now nah, these numbers will satisfy this numbers will always satisfy my condition okay so from here we get to see that my condition is just not only satisfying for n length equal to three right for n equal to three uh, and for that permutation for any of that permutation my condition is not satisfying right okay for my condition was basically like this p of i plus one should not equal to p of i plus two so let's check over here so let's say my p of i is this and p of i plus one is this so five would be like this one zero one and six would be like this one one zero when i will try to do xor of this my xor would be one one zero and it is two uh it is three right so still then as i can see it is not equal to p of i plus two where my plus two p of i plus two is seven so this condition is satisfying so now let's check further also so let's say my p of i is this and p of i plus one is this right so it would be like this okay so one one zero and one 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 i'm doing xor of this okay so it would be one zero zero it is coming one and p of i plus two was for both it was p of i plus two was eight so still it's satisfy my condition which is four yeah so as you can see that from this observation we get to see that my condition is just not only satisfying for n length equal to three and after all it is satisfying for all the length okay so from here what we can see what we can do we have to just arrange those length in such a way that my condition is satisfied so what we can do let's say i am getting n equal to five so for n equal to five i have to uh, inclusive all the numbers from one to five so what i can do what uh, i will just simply arrange first four numbers like this one three four two and after an i call just i will just append five okay so when i will do the con this condition over here my condition was this this p of i xor of p of i plus one is not equal to p of i plus two so for this i xor of three which is so let's say p of i this and p of x i plus one is this okay so zero zero one and zero one one okay so it would be zero and one okay and zero so i am getting as two but my p of i is p of i plus two is four so this condition is satisfying over here so in this way when i you will try to do a dry test dry run over here you will get to say that this this arrangement is set this permutation is satisfying my condition so what i am doing i would would i would be doing i would be simply putting start at start i would be simply uh for length for let's let's say i am getting n equal to 10 what i will do i will simply at start i will put this and after on i will append all the numbers after on that okay so let's say it is 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this would be my answer okay so as you can see we have got a solution and this was our basic general solution and you can try to check a, uh, you can do your dry test for all, all of this uh, you can take xor of this this will satisfy me this condition okay so now let's check uh, let's see the what would be a pseudo curve code for it uh, pseudo code for code for it would be like this if my n is equal to equal to 3 i will print simple minus 1 else what i can do i will print 1 3 4 2 and after on i will simply append for i from i is equals to 5 to i less than equal to n till i plus plus okay and i will simply print i okay and after on it will print on okay so this would be my simple pseudo code for it whatever i would be doing over here in the code okay so still if you are not able to got the solution what you can do you can come over here with me and you can click over here in the practice session okay so let's come over here practice problem set okay so this is the practice problem set and you can click over here uh, let's me select the problem level of this let's see it is one to one thousand okay okay so i am selecting this problem adjacent some parity and what you can do you can first of all try to read the problem and try to do the code on your own and if you were still not able to understand the problem and write the code uh what you can do you can come over here and click ask a doubt and as you will click over here you can see a ask a pop-up is coming over here saying ask a doubt click over this and you can start a chat with a doubt solver and your doubt would be solved instantly okay so now let's go to our problem statement and let's have a short recap of it what we would be doing in a code okay 
so our question was saying that you would be given n and you have to find a permutation p such that this condition which is saying that p of i xor of p of i plus 1 should not equal to p of i plus 2 so when we saw that for length n equal to 3 this condition will never satisfy and after on we check that from 5 till n it is satisfying for all the permutations okay so what we got to know that we just have to work for that n equal to 3 till okay so what we did we just arrange till 1 1 3 4 2 in such a way that this condition is satisfying after all i am just appending all the numbers so this word be my solution and approach for this question and now let's go for the c plus plus code for it guys okay so okay so this is the simple c plus plus code for it i did input first of all i took input for n and i check if n equal to equal to 3 i will print out minus 1 and else i will print this 1 3 4 2 and after on i will append all the numbers from i equal to 5 till n and i will print it simply over here and this would be my C++ code for it. Now let's submit and check whether our code is right or wrong guys. Okay, I have submitted for it. Let's wait for a few seconds. Okay, so I have submitted and now let's check whether a solution is right or wrong. Okay, so our solution is right and now let's go for the Python code okay so this is the python code simple what i did if n equal to 3 i printed minus 1 after all else in the else condition i printed 1 3 4 2 and i just appended from 5 till n over there okay now let's submit and check whether our solution is right or wrong okay guys we have got our solution is right and this was our simple code for this problem and thank you so much guys for watching our channel videos and let's meet in the next video thank you bye bye